Hi, welcome to our first Periscope broadcast from the Smithsonian Libraries. We're here today in the Dibner Library of the History of Science and Technology. It's one of our 21 branches. I'm Erin Rushing. I'm the Outreach Librarian for the Libraries. Behind the camera, camera phone is uh, Richard Naples. He's our Technical Information Specialist. And we also have with us Grace Costantino, Outreach um, and Communications Manager for the BHL, who's going to handle questions for us. And it is my pleasure to introduce Leela Beckerty, who will be our tour guide today. We are looking at creepy, eerie, scientific works. Um, they weren't intended to be creepy and eerie, but that's just my interpretation of them. <laughs> and time for Halloween. Um, Leela is our head of special collections, and she works here in the Dibner Library. So Leela, would you like to talk a bit about yourself? Certainly. Uh, I worked in a medical historical library for 17 years. So when I first heard about this broadcast, I didn't know what eerie or creepy I can select for you because I am so used to these illustrations in anatomy books. But if I look at it with those eyes, I have to admit that some of these pictures, so be prepared. <laughs> We still say in the 16th century, going up to the next book, Realdo Colombo's Anatomy. This unfortunately contains only one illustration, this one that you see, the opening scene, the title page, showing a dissection where it's obvious that the anatomy professor is close to the cadaver showing details in it, as opposed to in earlier times when he was sitting on a cathedral with an open book in his hand, reading from it and pointing out details to the surgeon who was doing the dissection. And that date again was 1559. And just as a reminder, we will take questions um, throughout the broadcast and later on Twitter. We're on Twitter at SI Libraries, and we're using the hashtag Eerie Anatomy. But we'll also answer questions towards the end of the broadcast, too. And we go further. Theoretically, in the 16th century, but practically in the 18th. I'm saying that because the author of this book was doing this an anatomy in the 16th century, but it wasn't published until 1744. The illustrations here are done with a different method compared to the previous ones. The previous ones were woodcut illustrations, and these are copper engravings. 